Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me and welcome to Friday Freebie. This is your freebies today. Did some really pretty little butterflies and birds. I love these two birds. Cute, cute, cute. And I did some little Easter rabbits because I thought Easter is just around the corner. I do have an Easter kit that will go with this <laughs> i should be able to get it up before this video goes up i hope cross fingers it's pretty big but i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get it done all i like is just a few pieces of ephemera but it goes perfectly with these little this little freebie right here well really both of them so we are going to use some of these things i think hmm i think we are probably should have cut them out before the video started I didn't but that's okay now I need tags to go with this this is a new journal kit <laughs> this is a new spring journal that I'm gonna be making and I don't know where some of these pages come from I just had them in my stash from last year year before but I also have my kit that is um, dandelion delight and I will link that below I have a little bit of Alicia's kit in here as well. Let's see. If I can find this other kit, I'll link it, but I don't know. This is my kit. This is Alicia's. So I'll link as many kits below. That This is like three or four kits in here. But these are my regular pages. Now, I haven't pulled out any extra pieces to go in here yet, but this is going to be the cover. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This does have some yellow in it, so it's going to go perfectly. This one is already sold. I'm sorry. I know um, a lot of you had asked about it in the last video and it is already sold. All I've got to do is finish it. I did want to show you our custom made cups. I absolutely love my cup. It comes with a metal straw and a cleaner, a little brush cleaner. These are spill proof. So if you're like me and you knock your cup over quite often, if you just keep that little lid closed, it's not going to spill all over you. But it has our emblem on here. Now, I was going to tell you guys, somebody had messaged me and said, could I get it, you know, without your emblem and maybe my name or my group name or whatever? I said, sure. We can customize these any way that you want. You just have to let me know your specifications. This is just one that I made for myself. But we have sold a few of these, too. Some people may like my name on there. I don't know. <laughs> But if you just want this off and just have crafting is my therapy on there, you can have it. If you want your name here and just have this on here, you can have it that way. If you want a different color background, this is raindrops. And you know I love my raindrops and I love rain. So any way that you want it. These are double insulated cups. They hold the ice. I mean, I put ice in mine this morning. And you can still hear it. They do have the non-skid bottom. So if you set it down, it, it's not going to slide away with you. And then the non-spill top. So just to let you guys know, we are making those now. And I do have the, I don't have it right here on my desk. It's over on another desk. But I do have the tote bags that have this same uh, emblem here on there you can get them both to match if you want or you can have tote bags made whatever way that you want we are just now starting this so we've got lots and lots and lots of things to do but as i get some new things made i put them up on the website so just to let you guys know that because i need to have a few questions about it so we are going to make some tags and side tucks and different things because i'm going to need them to go in that new journal and some of these are pages that I printed incorrectly because I had to get used to my new printer <laughs> so I actually printed them wrong now I'd like to have a few flip outs on this let's see you know I can cover that and that with washi maybe and still make this into a flip out so let's do that this is just going to be a page flip out and it'll have a pocket and then we'll just have to make some tags to go with so anyway I wanted to let you guys know that I know a lot of you have 
have questioned me. I've already had a lot that have ordered and all of your orders have already gone out. I, I said to allow us, you know, five to seven days for production, but we're, we're running a little bit ahead right now just because we've just now started. Now, when things kind of pick up, we may not run that far ahead. <laughs> so just to let you know, because we are custom making them, they're not something that's in, you know, that we're buying and bringing in here, it's custom made. Now, what I'll do here, let's see. No, I'll just glue that down and let that be a little side tuck. And then this will be a flip out. So we'll make some different things in this video because I will need all different kinds of things to go in that journal. And we may use our little birds and butterflies and our little rabbits. I don't know. I really wanted to save those for my... Easter journal, but I tell you, I'm running so far behind right now, I don't know if my Easter journal is going to take place or not. It may be, it may take place, but it may be after Easter. I'm going to put a little bit of ink on this, just where I cut it. And you know I didn't glue that bottom down, did I? Nope. I always forget to glue the bottom down until I put a tag in there and then I'm like, okay, the tag went straight through. Now, let me tell you this too. If you have a sublimation business, I mean, if you do sublimation at your house and you just need some sublimation designs, I am making the designs as well that I'm going to sell. So if you just need designs and you say, well, I can do that myself. I just need the design. If you need some designs, then I'm going to have some of those as well. So that won't be probably until, oh, it may not, may not even be until April. But um, I am in the process of making some different designs. That will be a template that will be exactly like you need for say one of these tumblers or the tote bags like we use or whatever. Okay, that will go in a journal. So, and a lot of people ask me, well, how do you use what you make? Okay, let's say this was the page. It would slide on like that. You would glue it here, right down through there, and then here, and that would go down. This would be a side tuck. Then on this side, you wouldn't glue it down at all. This would flip out like this and in. It'd be a little flip out. And then you just put a tag down in there. So this would need to be decorated. And then you can decorate that side as well. So that's how you use that. Now we may make a few things and then decorate them. How does that sound? I think I want to make a few things before we start decorating. Let's... This is from the Dandelions, Dandelion Delight, my kit. I will try to my best to remember to link all of this below. But this is mainly going to be an, uh, just a watch me craft video. <laughs> Not going to be anything earth shattering. Okay, I just need to cover the back of those. So I'm just going to trim around them a little bit. save my labels there and you guys know I like for my tags to be thick I don't like them to be thin so I'm just gonna grab some book page that I can put on the back and then after that we will glue some writing paper on the back so I'm just gonna put those pieces of book page on there this is a very fragile book it's an old one so It'll be good to be useful on the back of my tags. Now I'm just going to fold these over each other, lap them over each other. I'm not going to worry about making sure that I get three different pieces there. As long as I glue them well, it's no use in that. Oops, I just got glue everywhere. Because this piece is actually, as my grandson says, this is broken. 
Anything that's cracked is broken to Erin. I think I got it all the way out. We shall see when I start trimming. If I didn't, I can put another little piece of something on there. Anybody already got dandelions up in their yard? Don't know if I do or not. I haven't really been out there to examine it. I usually do. I know I had a group of buttercups that came up that I didn't even know I had. I don't know if a bird dropped some seed or what happened, but I saw some come up in the side yard. So I want to get them transplanted to the front because where they are right now they're just kind of sitting out there all by themselves I'll get them transferred around to the front I think buttercups are so pretty it's one of my favorite flowers that and tulips tulips and buttercups wow look at that I think I got a little bit of glue there didn't I that's how fragile those book pages are. They um, they just kind of fall apart when you put them on something. All right, we're gonna put this down on this paper. This is that uh, writing paper that I get off of Amazon. I think I've linked it in many, many videos. Sorry if you can hear my dryer going. I forgot to close that door. I just had to dry a few clothes. I said, I don't know how one person can mess up so much. Well, you know, it's one person in the house, but we also have lots of other people in the store. So, and we use, you know, towels and things out here for different things. So, that's mainly what I'm washing right now or drying. Okay, looks like we'll have to get another piece of paper. That was a tad bit short right there, but we're not going to worry about it because we're putting this other piece on the back anyway. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so there are three tags that are made pretty quick. And let's see what else we've got to make. We can do these. These are from the Dandelion Delight as well. These are some pockets. Now, this is a pretty strong paper that I printed this on, so I really don't think I'm going to need to back these and make them any stronger but if you print it on a very thin paper then you might need to go ahead and back them and make them a little bit stronger this one it, this paper is 28 pounds so it should be fine and I don't worry about cutting all these little pieces straight because it doesn't matter. That's going to be folded over anyway. And I don't have a punch this big, so I'm going to have to cut it out with my scissors. And we'll go ahead and cut these out too, because we'll definitely use these. Here again, I don't think I'm going to back them with anything, because this is a good paper. Should be strong enough. Having all of your embellishments ready to go is a big plus when you're doing journals. Now on these you can just fold them over if you want or you can use your scoreboard. I probably need to use the scoreboard. But I'm just going to try to fold them. So normally I can't fold too straight. 
Excuse me if I sniffle. I've got, I mean, the allergies. We've got pollen everywhere. So my allergies are in full force today. My car is not white anymore. It's yellow. There we go. So we would put glue here, here, and here, and then glue that down. When I made these pockets, I actually made these a little bit too wide, a little bit too big. But I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to be a, a big old pull in there, but that's fine with me. Okay, we'll lay that aside. We'll decorate here in a minute. So, I'm, right now I'm just thinking in my mind how I want to decorate. I've got these little scrap pieces that we can make something out of. Well, that's not a scrap. That's actually a side tuck. Now, this is not quite strong enough for a side tuck. I like for the side tucks to be a little bit stronger. That way your pieces that you put in there don't slide in and out. So, I'm actually going to back this with something. Yeah, if you have side tucks that you have put in and when you put your tag or journal card or whatever in there, the pieces just slide out. Most of the time it's because your paper is so thin and you, you don't just don't have any grip to hold those pieces in. So I like to make them just a little bit stronger. And you could cut this with your trimmer. I like cutting with scissors, so... I always have. Ask my mom. I cut my hair more than once when I was young. And she she finally hid the scissors from me. I would cut anything that I could get my hands on. I cut my brother's hair one time. And she liked to have a fit because I gapped it up so bad. I wasn't but about six. I gapped his hair up so bad it was horrible and she had a fit so she hid the scissors and then i found them and then a very good day when i had to have scissors for school so <laughs> i had my own scissors and i would do the same thing at school i'd cut everything i was cutting the, my paper and i cut the edge of the desk and i don't I told y'all I was not a good little kid. I did all kinds of stuff. I was very adventurous. <laughs> it's not what my dad would call it, but <laughs> oh, bless his heart! If he was still here, he would probably agree with me. I cut the. Um, there was a girl that sat in front of me that had really long blonde hair, and I've I've never had long hair because my hair is naturally curly and it's very very baby fine so i just can't grow long hair it breaks off too easy so this girl sat in front of me and she had long flowing beautiful blonde hair and she would flip it out you know i'm doing my hand flip it out she would flip it out and make sure that it landed on my desk because she knew that i envied her hair <laughs> Well, one day she she flipped it out one time too many, so I took my little scissors and I cut it. Yep, I cut her hair. Oh my goodness, was I in big bad trouble. I had to sit by myself in the little coat closet for the rest of the year. I was in big major trouble. Her mother came up and whew, her back then, you know, parent other parents could actually jump on you where they can't now you know people would sue but back then they could so her mother come up and had a field day with me and then my dad got me and my mom got me and the teacher got me and the principal got me and but i just got tired of her flipping that beautiful hair out of my desk so <laughs> she didn't do it anymore though, to anybody else oh lordy i shouldn't be telling y'all all this stuff I'm telling y'all all of my secrets. Okay, I think we have enough that we can start doing some embellishing, don't y'all? Let's see what all we've got here. I made this one yesterday. And 
did this one yesterday. So we can start doing some embellishing. We've got quite a few pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these out and then we'll start putting them on some of these pieces and decorating them up. I'm not going to cut them out on the video because it takes me a little bit. So I'm going to cut them, cut them out and I'll be right back. So I have a few of our little pieces cut out. I went ahead and cut out some different ones. I'm going to lay those aside for right now because I think I'm going to make a couple more of these these little side tucks. I like how they go in the journal and I like how they swing out. It just gives you extra room and extra writing room. And If you don't put very many pages in your journal you can do this and it just adds extra writing room and places to put tags. And of course I can't fold that straight so let's get the scoreboard which I should have done in the beginning. I am terrible about not being able to fold straight when it's a little place. If it's a bigger spot, I can fold it. When it's little, nope, can't fold it. I go crooked. Okay, so I fold a little piece over that. <coughs> I fold a little piece over on the end there. And then I fold it over just about whatever width I want my tag. So about like that. I leave that little piece. This is one that I printed incorrectly, so that's a good one to use. And then I fold this up just like that. And I punch a little pull on this. These are one of the easiest pieces to make, and they look really good in your journals. Let's go ahead and punch one up here too. So we won't forget that that's a pocket. All right. I go ahead and put some glue on here on that little piece we folded over. And then press that down. Right, that's going to go like that. So if this was your journal page, that would be on this side, be a little side tuck, and then this will be on this side, and it'll flip out, and you can put some labels or something on there, and then it'll have a pocket here. Now, what did I forget to do? What I always forget to do, glue the bottom. <laughs> I never remember to glue the bottom on these until I start to put my tag in there. And then I realize that the bottom's not glued because the tag falls right straight through. Okay, so that is another one. I love those. Let's see. Do we want to make anything else? I've got some little scraps here. Let's make another couple of tags. We've got we've only got three tags there. Let's do a couple more tags. And I'm just going to use this to make my tags with. And I'm going to mark them where I need to cut. And we'll make the tags for this. This is just some backing from some scrap pieces. Oh, the backing of ephemera. I'll get it out in a minute. Just give me a minute and I'll get it out. <laughs> my brain has to catch up with my mouth, so. Let's see. Yeah, I did. I cut my little mark off, didn't I? I'm so smart sometimes. I scare myself. Okay, let's go ahead while we're cutting and cut a couple more. We'll just do a couple more of these. And see, I have, I saved them all. I've got a whole drawer full. <laughs> I don't throw anything away. I'm going to guess at how much to cut this one off. That looks about right. Oh, and we got in the, let me pull them out. This stamp set today and another one I can't remember what the name of it is but this is the one from Taylor Made Journals she is another youtuber and she designed this stamp set 
we got it in today. I'd had a few requests for that one. So if you were one of the ones who requested that, they are in. And they're already in the store, so you better go grab it. Because you know how quick those sell out. Okay. Oh yeah, that's going to make a really pretty tag. I'm going to get some scrap paper. This is a book from where my, my daughter used to work here. Both of my daughters have worked there. But it's a hospital that we don't go to anymore. We don't care for. So I, when I get their books in the mail, I uh, usually just use them for glue books. That's about all they're good for. And they're thick enough that they can be a good glue book. Cute. I'll just press that glue down well. Then, let's see. I think I'm going to trim a little bit and then I'm going to do that wrap around like I do sometimes on the backs of my tags. Now, I had someone that said... Well, couldn't you uh, fold that those sides over after you put your writing paper on the back? Well, you, yeah, you could. You can do it any way that you want. But you got to remember that when you fold these over, you put paper on the top. If this is very thick paper, which sometimes mine is, and you put your writing paper on top, then you're going to have a, a line right there. When you start writing, you're going to have a little drop off there. That's why I do mine the way that I do. Plus, I like how they look when they have that little bit of a different color back there. So, that's kind of why I do mine the way I do. And I might just use this on the back because you can write on that. And to me, that's pretty. And it's just the right size. And it's a scrap, so we'll use our scraps up. Now, I put... Let's see. Did I... I think I linked the collections that I used yesterday the digitals that i used on that video yesterday and i think it's going to be the same ones today i can't remember truthfully i started on this video yesterday and i had to stop out to do some things and i'm not one of those that can film two or three days ahead because i forget what i'm doing i forget <laughs> i forget everything so I'm not one that can do a lot of filming ahead of time and still keep up with what I'm doing because I forget what day it is and what, what I need to link below and what I've already linked. Yeah. I know some people that film, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks early. I just, I wish I could do that. I wish I could. But... I just don't have that in my brain. My brain works on a daily basis. Now, I'm going to fold this around just on top of that. I have filmed before and filmed ahead of time, but most of the time I do get confused when I do that. I think that looks good. Now, I do want to cut it into a tag shape. I think I'll use this side right here. This is just an old card that I cut up. I seem to be able to keep up with this a little bit better than I could keep up with that template that I made. I can, I can never find that thing. I lose it. But this, I have a little bitty place right there that I can slide it in. <laughs> and I can keep up with it. Let's hope these fit. If they don't, we'll just use them somewhere else in our journal. Not a biggie. And of course it doesn't. Not in that one. And we don't want to put it in this one. It's too similar. Yeah, that one's 
too similar so we wouldn't put it in that one that's okay we'll use it somewhere else in the journal and we'll make another one for this there is no mistakes got in more scorched timber so if you're a scorched timber fan and you haven't got yours yet if you've missed it all the four times that we've had it in stock then go over and grab it because it will probably not last too long let's make sure this one fits this before i cover it what in the world what have you done okay it would not have fit with it glued together like that yeah that fits so let's see if we have another scrap piece I'm pretty sure I do that's pretty let's use this on this one I'm just about out of glue but I've got me a little drawer full over here don't tell Melina Yep, it won't roll up anymore. It's gone. Okay, say so bye-bye to that one. And this is not enough to wrap around, so I'm just going to put this on and trim it off. I was trimming the wrong line. Now we'll put a backing on that. See if I've got something here to use for a backing. I think I'll put a piece of this on for a backing. It's a little bit dark, but you can still write on it. And we'll trim it off. Then we'll start decorating some of these because we've got quite a few pieces made. We have another tag made, and this one should work in this. And it does. Very good. Now, I'll probably put pulls on the top of those, but right now we're going to do a little bit of embellishing. I'm going to use some of the pieces that I cut out yesterday. And this is not necessarily going to be a... Easter journal, but I think these little pieces work pretty well with this. It's going to be a spring journal, so that's too many flowers there. I don't think she looks bad there, but I think she might need a little bit of a background behind her just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to put a little piece of book page behind that. Yeah, that makes her pop a little bit more right there. Or he, her, he, I don't know which one it is. A little girl or a little boy. And then on this, I'm just going to tip it with a little bit of the brown. Just kind of makes it show up better and I think I want to put a little label right down here just to have a, something a little extra on there I might put this one yeah I like that one on there alright and then she will glue down right there, and I think we want something else up here. Maybe that little piece right there. It's got little butterflies on it. I'm going to put this little Saturday matinee right there. Maybe going to take his girlfriend to the matinee and bring in her flowers. Or he, or whichever they it is can't tell if this is a little girl or a little boy I'm 
Kind of looks like a little guy, though. It's got on overalls. Now, your freebie will be linked below. You can just go over and download it. And I had someone say something about... That it, they weren't going to download any more of my freebies because I always put pop-ups there and it, it had puzzles popping up. I don't know what she was talking about exactly, but I don't put any pop-ups there. Now, it is a blog, so just like any other blog, it has some advertisement on it. I could totally block the advertisements, but I'll tell you that... <laughs> The advertisements do make me a few dollars a day. They, they're they like maybe five or six dollars a day, if that much. Sometimes not even that much. So that's why I don't block them. Because you can just, all you have to do is hit the X or hit close and they'll close right out. It just helps me offset the price that I have to pay for uploading freebies for you guys so i'm hoping that doesn't irritate everybody i mean i go to other blogs to download and there's all kinds of pop-ups there i just click on them and tell them to close and go on i figure if i'm getting a freebie from them i shouldn't complain that's my thought anyway but i just thought i would mention that and if you're getting a ton of them then it may be that your computer is set to not um block pop-ups so you might need to set it where it'll block pop-ups because i know i had to do mine that way but yeah there i mean i've gone on there just trying acting like a customer or whatever like you guys do and i get like one one pop-up and i can just hit close and it closes right out and i never see anything again so that's not too uh aggravating for me but that's me just thought i would mention that Okay, that one is finished, I think. It could use some little something up here, but I may just leave that since it's got a little writing there. Um, let's see. Might do a little bit to this. I, it's got, I don't want to cover any of the flowers. That butterfly is really too big. I may not have a butterfly that's the right size. I think all of these are pretty big. I kind of like it, though. I think I will put it on. Kind of, sort of like it. Let's see. We'll put something kind of under it so it'll give it a little bit more oomph. No, I don't like that under it. I like it just like that. Hmm. Okay, we may not put anything under it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. I don't think right now I'll do anything else to that one. This one? I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. I may put that little bird on there. I may put that little blue label up there at the top of his head. Just to, I don't know, separate his head from the background maybe. Yeah, that works. Now, I've got, I didn't cut out some of this white here because it was just too tedious. So, I'm just going to ink it. If I'd have tried to cut that, I would have probably cut his feet off. So, the way my hands shake. There we go. Ooh, he's cute there. Just the right colors. Okay, I'm going to put this little tiny label right here. It's just the same color of the background, so. Or not the background, but that flower there. Okay. And then once we put our topper on, that will be nice. Okay, we've got this one. 
Let's see. Oh, she's cute. I don't know if she'd be cute on that or not, though. That's the problem. And my bird's a little bit too big. Or that bird, anyway. She's really cute on there, though, isn't she? I may just do her. She, her flowers are turned the other way. That looks a little bit different. We'll put a little piece of book page behind her. Yeah, that will work. And I'm going to put it closer to the bottom and probably trim off a little bit of the excess. I don't want it quite that tall because I don't want to cover up these. on there and we need a label up here what about that one and wrap it around that's what we'll do I think that's all I'm gonna do to that one um Let's see, let's look at this one. I think this little bird would be cute on there. If we can get him on without losing part of him. I think we can. I am going to put something across the bottom though. Just a little book page or something. It just helps them stand out from the background a little bit. Doesn't have to be much. It's a very, very old piece. Hmm. I need it to run this way. Okay, got to find another piece. That one's not going to work. These are all my scraps, and usually in the scraps, I don't have the big pieces like I need. That will work. That will work. Whoops. Put the top on my glue before I let it dry out. And I'm just going to tip the bird with a little bit of color just to cover up any white places that I might have left, which I'm sure I left quite a few. And if we put him like that, we shouldn't have to cut any of his little tail off. That will work. Cute. Okay, I think I'm going to put this at the top. I'm going to ink in it just a little bit because it's a little bit too white for me. Okay, then I have this little number and I'm thinking about just putting that little number right there at the bottom. go there it's another one um i think we may stop because i have quite a few more pieces that i need to decorate and i, I don't know how long i've been on here since i did it in a two-part thing that would look cute on there but oh i would have to cut part of her little ear off so i don't want to do that so i think i'm going to stop I've got quite a few more pieces to go, but we got quite a few pieces finished too. We've got that finished, that one finished, that one, and then these two. And then we've got all of these that all I have to do is put a little piece of ephemera on top of them. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to cut some more to finish those up. But that is it, guys, for the Friday freebie video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you'll give these little freebies a try. They're a lot of fun. And I think they're super cute. We will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.